Alright, so uh, this is a little bit of a proof of concept. Kind of see if uh, if I shrouded it all the way around the side, the heat exchanger back. Make sure I seal the condenser to the radiator. So it's basically all shrouded up to this point. So, so 
I'm gonna actually take this for a test drive with this setup and uh, I'm gonna give it some spirited uh, runs here and, and see what this thing does. Now, 
I went ahead and put this cover on there. Like I said, if you don't, air will flow up over, and I think it uh, it reduces your low pressure on the back side of the, of the fans, uh, which, which the temperatures will rise up. So once I put this on, uh, driving around basically stayed pretty much the same. So this is, a, to me, another big piece of it. As after uh, getting back home and just opening up the hood, uh, and letting this thing, uh, so basically letting all the engine bay temperature out of the hood, um, it actually went back down uh, quite a bit under back under that and it's still actually dropping to where we started. So that tells me that there's still some engine bay heat uh, that's working its way in front of the system. Kind of looking through here, you can see it can go through where the headlights are and still get basically come through the radiator support and still get in front of that so you might have to extend the shroud to the front nose uh, or maybe seal these guys up right here uh, but then I gotta make sure this gets plenty of air which is just sucks hot air in anyway I want to do something different hey guys, well enough for the uh, craft uh, and art experiment here uh, my little art project uh, but this thing I think uh, when I did come back I pulled the cover off um, I did notice that it did lift off here and basically all this kind of came undone so I think about the time I saw the temperature come up is when uh, my little uh, painter tape and cardboard project started to let go uh, under some speed so I've seen enough now to uh, and especially how much it pulls uh, from the front that I think I'm gonna try to get this uh, fabricated out of some metal and uh, see if we can secure it somehow. So uh, I think that's gonna be uh, kind of my next project here. Um, and I may need some help on that. But overall, um, and then if I wanted to, I could actually make another one that kind of shrouds it towards the nose here. So it makes sure nothing circulates at all through the front it's all coming from the front of the car which is all going to be cool air um i don't know uh we may just uh i may just leave it at that but we will see it might not be a big deal to just extend it here and basically extend it back to the crash bar here all the way through um, so that's kind of all one piece and maybe even kind of come up and maybe angle up because I am cutting a little bit off of the condenser here by going straight into it. So maybe putting a slight bend here and kind of coming up might be another cool thing to do. But anyway, uh, I definitely, uh, I like it. So that's today's video guys. Obviously this is just a mock-up. If you guys have some ideas around this, uh, sort of the way I'm planning this, uh, you know, I'd love to uh, share what I've learned uh, on the channel. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed, you might want to think about doing that. Um, I'll be doing some more of these videos and hopefully some of this technical information you'll find helpful um, as well and maybe give you, give you some ideas and pique some interest uh, for your build. Uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe. Uh, so for now, guys, this is going to be today's video. Thanks a lot for stopping by and uh, we'll talk next time.